Hey guys, I am going to show you how to use micro links um, for people who have alopecia and want to get their sew in or get their hair done. So we gotta pretend that my mannequin here is bald in the top, but she has hair around the front and around the sides and the back, right? So we don't have to worry about the back because you know that's always on the bottom. You don't have to worry about that. But what we want to do is try to hide this ball spot that's up here in the top of my mannequin's head, right? But there's hair. So I'll show you how to use the micro links to connect all this hair to make a make kind of like your own net. And then you can attach to that net and then sew your sewing in, even though you don't have any braids in the hair. These grows grooves in here. See these grooves? I don't like that kind of do something weird when you take the beads off. So I don't really like that. I like these these with the little grips on it because I feel like I can control and squeeze the beads more better. Just too, if the hair too thick, the bead won't go. I'll show you. See, the hair too thick, the bead won't go. You won't have to worry about it. It'll tell you if the hair too thick. So if that is too thick, it means you need to take a smaller amount. So that means we can work with that. So we gonna work with that. And through there, that's why it's like that. Did you see there? All right, keep watching. Okay, so we got that side going. Let's do this side. And all my beads here, see all my beads? So then what you're gonna do is, whatever hair you don't need, you can just pull it back and then you just pull from what you need to hair back, cause this is the hair you're gonna be working with. All right. See how this hair is laying over the top? You're gonna make your own connectors. You take these two middle two right here, right? You're gonna separate these. Separate this into two pieces and pull it over here. And then you're gonna take hair from this one. Separate these two. And then you're gonna put these two strands together. See those there? You're gonna put them two strands together. And then I'm going to show you how to tighten them down here in a minute because I wanted you to get the idea. All right. So we see that that works. We got our base. So now you can go in here and tighten these down so they don't move on you. All right. So we know this is our centerpiece. We want these first. Start them down and clamp. Slide these down. Clamp. All right. So then we're going to tighten this one down. Now we know where we're going, so we can just tighten all of these down. We know how we're, which, which direction we want them to go in, so tighten them down. You don't have to come all the way to the front. You can leave the customer's hair out if you want it out. But this is flat, so when you sew to this, it's, it's going to be flat. You won't even notice that those beads is there. I was trying to let you see how it's from the side. It's just as flat. It's flat. This one, this one's already separated. You don't need to separate this one again. And we're gonna separate this one and then pull this one down. And so see how that is? And then if you think that's too far away for you to sew like a track, you just move it forward or move it back, whatever you need to do. You, you're looking at it, you know what you want it to do. You just make it do what you want it to do. Is whatever you need to do for the customer. If she got a bald spot right there and it's too hard to hide, make them beads closer. If it's not so bad, then make them further apart. Then she only she ain't gonna need all that much hair right there. You know what I'm saying? Then you take the next one. Make sure you getting it clean, clean hair. And 
and be looking at the next one, seeing how thick and thin it is. If you need to pull a little bit of that hair to put in this one so that the other one won't be so thick, then do that. Pull it over there. Don't be scared to work, do what you gotta do. You can't do it wrong. We can move this one up a little bit too. That one's a little too far back. We're gonna slide that one up, but you got little V's in here, so you're gonna be able to sew two tracks on here already. So then we go back to the center, and you're gonna keep building like we did on the first one. You're gonna just keep building off of it. Make sure you're keeping that under hair flat. We're just using that hair as filler. So when we sew that hair in there, you won't be able to see through that hair. It's just filler. You just leave it in there. Knees separated because don't get this filler hair in, caught up in that. You want to keep this filler hair flat. We had that scalp. My mannequin's starting to get thin, so she's starting to be a good alopecia model. <laughs> See that? See our net? See the net forming? Do it. If you're going to do a whole crown, you can do a whole crown. You don't have to do it in this diamond shape. I'm just doing it diamond shape, so I'm just doing this part of her head. So let's say she wanted me to go ahead and do her whole crown, then I would go, I would in this area right here. If I was doing this area here, I would go square because I would cover more ground and I don't need as many. But if we only gonna use this part of her head, we need to put enough amount of hair to cover to look full. So you wanna have enough of this in the center to make sure you can do that. So now that you got this on here, and let's say you only want these three rows, right? What's gonna happen to this hair? You can A, leave this hair free to hang down and it'll, cause the tracks are gonna be sewed on top so it can hang down. If you want it to be sec secure to the scalp, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go inside. This is hard down. So you remember we got this hair under here. We wanna keep that hair under here. But what you wanna do is you wanna go in here in between these, these things and get to the base. So you're gonna open this hair up, open this hair up underneath wherever the link is laying, like this. You're gonna get to the base of the scalp. See this hair, it's the base. See that, That's, this hair is in the root on her head. Okay. See, I got my links. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here to the root. Get that hair down in the root, pull it up, connect it to your link, pull it through, Put your bead on. Slide the hair out. Easy, you're gonna anchor them all down so they don't move. So you go in here, open this hair up, get to the scalp, find you some hair that's in the scalp, make it clean. All right, you got your link, you got your scalp hair, you're just going to slide this down to the scalp, anchor it. Now these might come out close because I'm trying to demonstrate, demonstrate to you instead of having you guys be confused about what I'm doing. To the scalp, flatten. All right. Oh, keep going. Open the hair up, get you your anchor hair in here. And you're just gonna do it all the way across. Anchor that down. And since we're doing anchors, let's say this piece is too thick. You don't have to take all this piece because you anchor in this. This will be fine if you take half. You don't have to take all of it. It's still gonna anchor it. It's still gonna hold it down. Too free under there, we gotta anchor that. 
and you just find a piece that fits where you needed the anchor edge. I need the anchor about right here. Remember, if you don't need all this hair, you don't have to take it off. Just take what you need, leave that out, it'll be all right. Or if you want to corner, anchor the corner, you can anchor the corner because that's probably better so it'll stay flat. So anchor the corner. And then if you want to add extra B, you can do that too. You, it ain't no rules. You do what you, whatever you need to get the service done. You make it work for you and the, and the customer and the client. As long as your client is happy, that's all that matters. All right. So she is flat. As you can see, it's flat, 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 flat. Flat, 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 flat. Flat. So you don't have to worry about it. So we got that anchor. So you anchor these down. So remember, we left that hair under there as a filler. So if she wind blows, so what? If the wind blows, she still got hair under here. Let me turn this thing around so you can see. Okay, see there, she still got hair under here. Even though she was thin, she still got hair. So when we sew that other hair in, it'll be okay. Then we got this to act as a filler as well. So now we got filler on top of filler. So we ain't got no hair showing, peeking out nowhere. You know, no scalp, I should say. And then you sew to the top of this, however you want to sew it. Or if you want to put a lace front on it. So let's say you want to put a lace front on there. You put it on there. Down. Almost like how you do the back side of a lace front. You know how you sew that down? If you start, you got to sew one side and come around and sew the other. That's how you're going to do this. Except you're going to come across the front. You're going to sew this first part down like this. And then you come across the front like this. Sew that down. Then you're going to go to the other side. And sew from that side. You're going to pull it down. Because what you're doing is creating a hairline. And you're sewing it into the hairline in that underneath those beads. And when you pull it back, you pull it into the beads. And then you get you get this flatness. Let me show you. You get this flatness where it looks like it's coming from the scalp. See there? So you can wear, you can sew this all the way to the front and you don't have to have a billion baby hairs um, in the front. You don't have to have baby hairs if you don't want to sew down. So you can see that there. That way when you want to comb, when you want to style, you can style. You don't got to worry about if you can, can you comb this hair forward or whatever. You can pull that, still pull that hair forward and without having a thousand baby hairs. And so, like I said, you want to make sure you get those beads to the edge. And when you sew this down, you're going to sew like with a tuck. And you're going to sew it under the bead. So that look like it's coming from the scalp. See that? It's coming. It look like it's coming from the scalp. And then you can still pull this hair forward if she want to have a bang. If you want me to demonstrate and it's actually sew it down, I will. You just got to comment down below. Like, comment share let me pull you back up you gotta like comment share and subscribe i want some subscribers because my videos y'all watching them i got i don't know how many views but i'm not getting subscribers so if you don't mind please subscribe and um comment down below if you want me to actually sew this to the mannequin so you guys can see how that will look and how that holds up but as you can see that's her that's her centerpiece. To the scalp up here to keep it from flipping forward and falling, this won't fall. It's gonna stay right there where I put it. You do the same thing back here, okay? All right, and also if you guys want a class, comment down below, I want a class and I'll put that together. I got a few people that's been asking me about this. So if you guys are interested in a class, I'll put that together and start working on it for you guys. Again, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family.